I'm Dan Ackerman and we're here taking a look at the brand new 13 inch Apple MacBook Pro with Retina display. Now this is one of those products that we knew was coming. Uh, we didn't know exactly when, but here it is just in time for the start of the holiday shopping season. Now, if you've seen the original 15 inch uh, MacBook Pro with the Retina display, you pretty much know what the deal is here. This is a product that is really halfway between a traditional MacBook Pro and that smaller, lighter MacBook Air. It's uh, thinner and lighter than a Pro, but it doesn't quite taper to a point the way an Air does, so it still has that sort of squared off MacBook Pro feel. Even though it's lighter, it's actually a little bit dense and almost heavy in the hand. It feels a little bit heavier when you pick it up uh, than you think it, you, it will just by looking at it. So let's take a look at the Retina MacBook Pro versus a 13-inch MacBook Air. If you look at them side by side, you're going to see that the Pro actually has a slightly smaller footprint. Uh, than the MacBook Air. It's about the same thickness in the back. It's, 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 it's obviously thicker in the front, uh, but the length and width on the Air is actually a little bit bigger. Of course, the Air is uh, definitely a little bit lighter as well. If you put them side by side, uh, you're going to see that, again, the Pro does seem like it's a little bit smaller if you consider how far out it comes, and it's got that nice edge-to-edge -to -edge glass over the display, which you don't have on the MacBook Air. Uh, but the real selling point beyond all that is this uh, gorgeous 13.3 inch screen. In this case, uh, I think it's a 2560 by 1600 display uh, that's a little bit lower than on the 15 inch version, but still miles beyond what you'd get in any other uh, Windows laptop of any size. Now on the screen, you don't actually see that native resolution. You see an interpolated resolution of either 1280 by 800, 1440 by 900. There are a couple different settings that you can pick. Uh, so it looks like it's that lower resolution, but the image is much crisper and clearer, especially when you're viewing text. It's the kind of thing that I'm sorry to say really uh, presents itself much better in person than, than online or on video. You really do have to kind of see a retina display in person just like on a uh, current generation iPad or iPhone. Really appreciate it. Like the 15 inch MacBook Pro with retina, uh, you've got some uh, connections and ports in here that you don't usually find at a MacBook. You have not one but two Thunderbolt ports that both double as display port outs, and you've got HDMI. Uh, that's really great for hooking this up to a bunch of external monitors at the same time. You, of course, lose the optical drive, and there's no Ethernet jack, so just be prepared for that. Now, all this does not come cheap. The starting price on this guy is $1699, and for that, you only get a 128 gig SSD and an Intel Core i5 processor. In order to trade up to a 256 gig SSD, that's another $300, and then a couple hundred more on top of that if you want a Core i7. Now, there are a lot of people out there trying to sell $1,600 Windows laptops right now. We've certainly seen uh, a bunch of uh, really high-profile Windows 8 launch systems trying to hit that price. So, uh, you know, there are a lot of people who think that, that there's an audience out there for a $1,600 or $1,700 laptop. Uh, that does kind of remain to be seen. But if I had that much money to spend, uh, I think that the, the super high-res display in here is definitely uh, one of the features that you'd look for and that would really justify that kind of price. Uh, that being said, the 15-inch Retina is still probably the most universally useful and practical uh, MacBook that Apple makes right now, and that 13-inch Air is still the most portable and still the most easily accessible for mainstream audiences, especially because it's not just thinner and lighter, but it's a lot less expensive. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the Apple MacBook Pro 13-inch model with Retina display.